General Medicaid warning. The views expressed in Five-ish Minute Lore, The Lore Delivered in Rants, are sanctioned by their scholar progenium as excess rages. Prolonged exposure can result in loss of IQ, high blood pressure, random outbursts, and blunt force trauma to the skull, resulting in unconsciousness. Please consult your local physician for more information. Abaddon the Despoiler. Legend says that each time he loses a battle, his top knot gets a little taller and his arms get a little shorter. Want a quick summary of who and what Abaddon is? Okay, here we go. Abaddon is that annoying kid in high school whose dad is a total badass and thus spends all of his time massively overcompensating to try to show everyone else that he's a bigger badass than his dad and winds up just looking completely pathetic. The biggest problem with Abaddon is the way he's just supposed to be the champion of Chaos Undivided, while at the same time he inspires as much in the way of leadership and charisma as Dunkin' Donuts can push weight loss programs. He's the champion because he's supposed to be the champion and not much else. He's the leader of the armies of Chaos in much the same way one can claim to be a herder of cats, and frankly it's not all that hard to convince followers of Chaos and Demons to do something mean-spirited. Hell, all it took for Korn to get Angron to launch a campaign against the planet was to literally throw him and a bunch of cultists on a ship and dump him in the orbit of Armageddon. The forces of Chaos made the orcs look like a well-disciplined and drilled force by comparison, and that's not an exaggeration. Meanwhile, Abaddon calls himself War Master if the title means anything, while Lee Thrycook would be more apt and accurate. Abaddon has managed to herd enough cats to launch 13 Black Crusades, and if you need to know what a Black Crusade is, envision every cat lady in the world living in the city of St. Louis. And every once in a while, one of the cat ladies finds out that a pet smart somewhere is having a sale on special kitty salmon flavored kitty treats, and the ad tells them to bring all their feline friends. So basically what happens is out of the city of St. Louis comes a herd of Ford Focuses filled to the brim with cats and cat feces. And that comparison is actually very accurate, only instead of an endless wave of cats and cat ladies in Ford Focuses who smell like five years of combined body odor and rotten dairy products, you get a seething mass of teeth, claws, and flesh that smells like five million years of combined body odor and rotten dairy products. For the longest time, Abaddon was pushed forward in our face as the big baddie by GW, but he was about as threatening as a kitten trapped in a wet paper bag. Out of the original 13 Black Crusades, Abaddon has only been nominally successful in some of them. They mainly consisted of GW having Abaddon fail drastically, yet somehow claiming victory by achieving some nominal esoteric gain. In the first Black Crusade, he wound up getting a sword that made him stupidly strong, but he still got owned physically and emotionally by a thousand-year-old Black Templar. The second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth, and tenth were barely worth mentioning because of how little actually got done during them. The sixth was essentially Abaddon backstabbing another Chaos Warband from his parent Legion. The ninth consisted of Abaddon's Black Legion getting depleted brutally by none other than the Lamenters chapter. And if you're so bad at what you do that the most luckless chapter of Space Marines in history stops you in your tracks, you need to rethink everything. The eleventh Black Crusade consisted of Abaddon displaying incredible tactical genius by dropping his entire fleet on top of a wall of orcs, and the Imperials just stood back with confused expressions as the orcs and the Black Legion fought for months until they were forced to retreat. Now, each time you look at one of these abject failures, remember, Abaddon is supposedly the greatest evil mastermind in all of 40k. It doesn't matter that he continuously threw billions, if not trillions, of cultists, demons, and traitor astartes against Cadia trying to break his defenses only to do absolutely nothing. Oh no, you see, he was just doing that to uh, distract the Imperium so he could um, uh, test a curse, or uh, so he could... Um, stop a dead saint from ruining his plans for the future, or, um, try to find new ways out from the Eye of Terra. Yeah, or, uh, he did it to gain the favor of Zinch. Yeah! Now, by the time the 12th Black Crusade rolled around, Abaddon figured he needed to stop being an utter joke. He stole a pair of Death star on steroid ships called Blackstone Fortresses and blew up one world in the Gothic Sector that he was apparently trying to capture. He was in there fighting for 20 years and eventually got ran off by the Imperial Navy, taking both the Blackstone Fortresses back through the Eye of Terra. Then you had his crowning achievement, the culmination of all his wicked, dick dastardly plans, the 13th Black Crusade. This was going to be crazy. This was going to be it, you guys. Oh boy, here we go.
Rechita, ¿qué? Ve por la paellera. Venga, que a las dos de la tarde ya están aquí. Miren, bañador. Pues las chanclas. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme las chanclas y el bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. Eso. Eso. Había subido la marea y con su blusa para ella. Eso. Y la encontré porque se estaba, estaba la paella en agarrar. Entre metí entre las piedras de chipiona, de paro. Y cuando entro en el restaurante, me ve el cocinero con una paellera y adentro la vende paellera. ¡Ah, no vale! ¡Ah, no vale! ¡Mira dónde llega el agua! ¡Llegaba el agua hasta el restaurante! ¡Había subido la marea! What a joke. What an utterly pathetic and sad, decrepit joke of a villain. 10,000 years of supposed planning and schemes only to wind up stuck with a foothold on Kaia and his fleet destroyed overhead. What a pathetic dis- What happened? I feel... Time has been ripped away somehow. Events are not as I remember them. What's changed? What happened? I feel so disoriented, confused. Only one weapon can do this. Only one weapon could do this much damage. I'm confused, lost. GW deployed the Retconia. Why the Retconia? Where is Cadia? What happened to Cadia? Why does Gilliman have an Eldar waifu? And who is this chaos leader? It can't be. Something has gone horribly wrong. That can't be Amadon. It can't be! Abaddon doesn't have arms! <laughs>